Hey you! You know what you need? Razors. You know what the Dollar Shave Club has? Razors! So stop paying so much for razors and join the Dollar Shave Club, you hairy person. They let me write this ad, and I know you like being insulted a little bit, don't you, you hairy degenerate? Dollar Shave Club is the smarter choice. Get a great shave at a great price, conveniently delivered right to your door. Think of it as a life hack that keeps you near your video game console and not out at some store being eyeballed by that cashier. Yeah, I know you're looking at me, Tony! What are you going to do about it? Tim uses Dollar Shave Club's executive razor with that Dr. Carver shave butter. And you know what he's always telling me? He says, ooh, I'm a smooth boy, Greggy M. And then he takes a bath. <laughs> For a limited time, new members get their first month of the Executive Razor with a tube of Dr. Carver Shave Butter for only $5 with free shipping. After that, razors are just a few bucks a month. That's a $15 value for only 5 bucks. There are no hidden fees, no commitments. Cancel anytime you like. You can only get this offer exclusively at dollarshaveclub.com slash greggy. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash greggy. Kevin made me read this ad multiple times against my will, so I didn't laugh. I've been prepping you all for my topic. Topic number four. Okay. And I'm going to read it verbatim because when I wrote it down, I was like, this is a work I'm of art. You know, when did Greg, you do this? The, this, this episode morning. is going to be Troy Baker, part one, part two, part three, and then a topic. Greg's topic. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to miss my flight? What time is your flight? 8.45. No, you're good. No, you should leave here at 6.45 at the latest. So you're fine, um, right? What time is it? It's six o'clock. It's six. Oh, yeah, this won't go for 30 minutes. It's fine. What? What movie monster are you supremely confident you could beat this shit out of? Chucky. The mummy. <laughs> fuck the mummy. Chucky. For sure. Chucky? I could fuck You could drop Chucky kick a child. Up, dude. But Chucky's Absolutely. always making the moves you don't expect. He knives, always. Dude, I'm smarter than Chucky, Chucky, dude. I Chucky. went to college. That's a, that's a close range. That's a close range weapon. You could drop kick a I doll. went to college. I could beat up Chucky, dude. Like no, he's college constant, education doesn't mean you can fight. He's constant. No, 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 but uh, but no, but Greg. I'd think him. I'd think him. Yeah, Greg made a like. Oh, but Chucky's always. Are you supremely ahead. confident no. you could beat the show? I'm supremely Chucky. confident I could beat the fuck out of Chucky, dude. He seems easy, right? Kick, yeah. Kick the knife out of his hand. He's grab a, him. He, put him in a safe. Lock the safe. You just jump hold on the him, safe dude. the rest of your life. A wood chipper. Just jump. No, on no. Him. Then is <laughs> a fucking rat and it breathes him in, and that's Chucky. You can't do that. Oh yeah. You can't kill him. That'll bring him back. Fuck up a rat. I could fuck up a dog. I could just I hold them up. up rat. Like, I could just fucking hold But he always it. has knives, remember. <laughs> always? <laughs> just fuck him. I mean, he's going to have knives. I'm just, just saying. Fuck him and then fuck him. No, no, real talk, him, though. Like, I feel like I'd be more scared of a doll. Oh, no, of a rat than a doll. I feel like there's a list that's coming. Is that clear and present danger? Is that the whole Jack Ryan collection? That, that is said? the Jack Ryan collection up there. Yeah, but then 100%. there's the weird Ben Affleck one that just doesn't make sense. What that one was great. The bomb is in the building. The bomb is in play. No. Uh, you said the mummy. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to grab this, this, this loose hair. Nope, nope, can't do it. Mummy. There it is. The there sum is. of all fears. The mummy. Which yeah, mummy definitely. are we talking about? The Boris, Boris Karloff. Karloff. All right, yeah. All right. The sum of all fears is the one I, where I Ben could not. said. I'm thinking the Arnold Vosloo. Not the Arnold Vosloo. Not, not the, uh, not, the uh, not the not the Brendan Fraser one. No, 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 that's no, Arnold no, Vosloo. No. Oh, my apologies. That's that's the, the didn't Brendan Fraser direct, write, and star in the mummy? He did not direct it. Uh, it was. <laughs> it was it was directed by... He didn't write it either. No, he did not direct it. He didn't do much um, of anything. First of all, that is a... That is a I love that movie. Oh, yeah. yeah. I watched Shout that movie. He mummy. was great in Bedazzled. The Mummy. Though. No. That was the end of his career. That was, Wasn't it? Well, the drinking Elizabeth was the end of his Hurley. career. Let me tell you. Um, Elizabeth Hurley as like, I'm still sexy. Like, lots you're not... Of, Kelly LeBrock part two is like what we call Elizabeth Hurley. Lots of childhood dreams there. Yeah. But see, Kelly LeBrock for me. Kelly LeBrock and Elizabeth Hurley are literally the same person. Oh. British? I don't know who Kelly LeBrock is. Neither. Yeah, you do. Weird science. Uh, you, you actually don't know weird science. Oh my god. Tim's too young. Nick makes a bunch of weird science jokes. Nick weird used to say that me and Alfred are keys, weird Lisa. science, and I don't know what that means. Dude, the weird science the girl? For, yeah. Yes. I know. It's not the TV show, the movie. Oh, never mind. Oh my never god, these young bitches. Give me the keys, Lisa. That bitch kicked me in the nuts. Dude, come on. It's so weird to see him now, by the way. And if Michael Hall jacked. Yeah. Yeah. It's like weird. He's like, I'm a serious actor. No, you're not. He dude. did Dead Zone. It was a great show. Great show. Okay, he, was he, it? he died or something, came back and could see ghosts. I forget what Wait, Dead Zone? Have you ever was seen the original CW Dead Zone? Show? No. You've never seen The Walking Dead Zone? Walking? 
That's the movie. Christopher Walken? It's his first movie. <laughs> wow. After we did. I love it's this. Crazy. This is like the sure. Troy Baker, Game <laughs> Over Greggy Show universe coming all See, all there's back. a movie that he did, The Deer Hunter. It's crazy. It's fantastic. <laughs> Yours is awful. Don't <laughs> disrespect <laughs> Troy Baker <laughs> by doing it in front of him. You're not invited to walk it no. off. He did, That's as um, bad as my mic. <laughs> wow. You did. Walk, I don't like it. He do. <laughs> He did, uh, he did. He did. Deer Hunter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they looked. It was like that look that you give at the very end when, the, when they're doing the whole uh, Russian roulette thing. He did Dead Zone. It's it's freaking awesome. It's so good. And then you start seeing like it's like proto walking. Like you're seeing the early version of what he's going to become. Yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, but Kelly LeBrock, bro, made a lot of happy dreams come true for nerdy boys like me mm. because that's what the whole movie's about. Is you, you in the face with you that get ah oh, man the late great uh, um, why would I draw Blake Walter name? Matthau Chet uh, mm. um, oh I can picture him Chet's the dad uh, in the world. yeah hold on it's almost oh there Bill God. Paxton Bill Paxton yeah yeah um, mm, boy what a fucking surprise that was. Uh, Bill Paxton plays his brother. You want your son? Game over, man. Pork. Yep. Well, that's 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 <laughs> way to pull it's that. Always it's always Titanic, like man. Um, Titanic. I feel like you're going off the list, Titanic, right? He isn't Titanic. No, Bill. Is. Bill Boy, Paxton you do is in Titanic. No, yeah, dude. Bill Paxton's the dude. Oh trying yeah, to fucking... he was the fucking documentarian. Yeah, yeah he holy was like shit. It's, a real talk. I want to do a whole it's topic been about Titanic. Eighty four years. Oh, it's hard, right. Bros. There it is. There it is. Try to remember. And no, you didn't let me finish. <laughs> it's been eighty four years, and I can still see the silverware. Oh, Game shit, I'm over, sorry. man. That's what he said. Aliens. <laughs> oh, different movie. Um, so, what are uh, what were you? I feel like you're like going on a list. Like, this no, was, no. I mean, I just want to know. You said the Mummy. You think Boris Karloff the Mummy? You can Boris shut Karloff, up. sure. Mummy. So, give me a list, though, Greg. Like, who are? Oh, the, Dracula. I'm oh, thinking Monster Squad. I can't fuck up Dracula. Like Dracula. Universal mummies. Yeah. Well. I mean, her, like Nosferatu or or like oh, no, like no, Gary Oldman. Any no, no. I'm th I'm picturing Monster Squad, but it's open to interpretation. I'm picturing smaller beings that I could overpower. Sure. Like I do more push-ups than you. You're so small. Like like, like a uh, gremlin. Though. Sure. Could you fuck up a gremlin, Andy? I oh, want to watch Andy. Like, fight I gremlin. fucking punt a gremlin, dude. Like, <laughs> but the problem is, yeah. there's always gonna no. be more. Cool, Greg. Cool, Greg. Come here. here. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> what did you just say about gremlins? What did you say about gremlins? They look soft, but they're hard, dude. Oh, yeah, they shit. They are. Gremlins are crazy. I don't got else to, anything else to say. Oh, no, man. They look soft, but they <laughs> gremlins, gremlins got claws. They'll fuck gremlins you up. Gremlins look soft, but they hard, bro. If that's not a t-shirt by tomorrow morning, I want to... Just with the outline of a gremlin head around it, Andy, make gremlins, that t-shirt. But, but, but the quote, yeah, oh, but no, they no. hard, bro. Dude, if that we put every... Quote that God cool Greg said on his shirt. That is brilliant. Every day would have some shit new, man. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> See what I jump to is I get your place now. I and get now, you now. Mine is actually a very double-sided <laughs> blade. It could go either way, Troy. Blade? Blade? No, no. Is this double-sided wow. blade? Uh, Let me stick with oh, me. I know we've we all blade. been drinking. <laughs> what is a lot of tax evasion? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm gonna get him on. No. <laughs> Creature from the Black Lagoon on land. <laughs> You ever see Monster Squad when this motherfucker walks out of the water? You're no like, one saw Monster Squad. You're a Squad. fucking idiot. I get, you Nobody see Monster saw Squad, Monster right? Squad. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Nobody saw Monster fuck Squad. Fuck you. Dude. Fuck you. You see Monster Squad? Yeah. Scott Butterworth seen it. Yeah. Hell okay. yeah. Cool Greg hat. You have? Yeah. I don't remember that. Oh, we're gonna see it again then. Because <laughs> my brother's all about the monster. You know what that phrase means, by the way. Either okay, there's there's one or two meanings. Goes, I don't Space remember, Jam. but I have seen it. Either A, <laughs> yes, bullshit, you're lying and you're trying to be cool, or C, or B, wow, or two. <laughs> oh yeah, but you're the adult. We're well, drunk, yeah. not you. No, no. <laughs> or you were so high when you watched it that it's the literal truth. You're like, yo, I know that somebody put that DVD in. I don't remember. I don't remember when K Tone. I don't remember. Yeah. I have many of those movies where it's like. I actually, I, I have, uh, I, I would probably confess that I've done that before too. It was like, you've seen this movie. It was like, absolutely, man. Yeah, I don't remember it, but yeah, I've seen it. I don't know what movie you're talking about, but I don't want to incriminate myself. Right, myself. Yeah. I, I, I want to get into that social awkward conversation, but more than likely, it's, I know that we started that movie and I got really high. Yeah, yeah for Red movie. October. Yeah. That's yours? By your time. Yeah. <gasps> one ping only. Some well, one ping only for Shirley, please. Never seen it, but for I just know that hook. quote. Because a long Hulk. time ago on a Game Over Greg show, we I've told You've this story. You've never seen <laughs> Kevin. You remember October? this? You remember this from what everyone from Xbox? Cold. One ping over. First line is like cold. Yes, out. cold and I hard. That. I remember that. That was a good one. anniversary show. Then I gave the bri the bridge talk. You should try to get some sleep, sir. I can't sleep on planes. Why? Turbulence. 
Excuse me? Turbulence. Uh, sun. And don't call me Shirley, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Wrong movie? Radiation from the sun heats the Earth's crust, causing warm air to rise up. <laughs> Turbulence. Sorry? It's the. Dude. Alec, but it's a sub, that would it's be a the submarine other one. We, we, who, we were having the Alec Baldwin conversation earlier, right? Okay. Right here, you, on this show, because so, you've been back so many times. Uh, uh, well, no, no, no. You said about, this! I'm just bringing it. There's, there's, yeah. there's three things that I... Okay, I, I, I was in New York, and I was uh, in the lobby of a hotel, and about the distance from me and Kevin was Alec Baldwin. Nice. And I went, oh, I really just want to go over there and say these three things. Um, Hunt for Red October. Um... <laughs> Don't laugh. The shadow. The departed. No. What? And this thing that he rock. did, he narrated for, I would even bring up Final Fantasy, but that'd be probably be bad memories. No. Um, Spirits Within? Yeah, it's great. He's fantastic in it. It was a thing. Yeah. Um, and Solid then this thing that he did for like Nat Geo called uh, Journey. Metreon? Huh? No, I saw it in, in Illinois. Oh, I saw it in Metreon. Like Guys. a fucking adult. <laughs> oh, sorry that the show's finally off the rails. <laughs> 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 and third, there's three things I would bring up to Alec Baldwin is number one would be Hunt for Red October. Number two would be what the fucking second thing that I said was uh, uh, the shadow. The shadow. Because he was has a brilliant thing. Is like uh, he's great. And the, the movie's terrible. It's not what I do that defines me. No, I, oh, that's that's Batman. <laughs> and number three would be this thing that he did for Nat Geo where it's a single camera shot from Earth to as far as we can see. To the beginning of the universe, Saturn. Over an no, we can see further than that. Hour and a half, <laughs> Neptune, <laughs> narrated by Alec Baldwin. I it's like awesome. That. This is our world. It's brilliant, and I couldn't muster up couldn't the strength it. to go up because I didn't want him to go over because he was having a really intense conversation with like a mm. business associate. I didn't want him to go go fuck yourself, and I would have been like, ah. You've been on the other side of that. Not that you would ever tell anybody to go fuck yourself, but where you're in the middle of something and someone comes and you're going to get a car and blah, blah, blah. And like, that's always what it is for me, where it's like, I don't know what that person's rules are and somebody's talking to me. I them. lost my shit at some people at an airport. Really? Just recently. I, and I had to, I went back through the airport and I and I found them. I, I was at a con and I, you have a human moment. Yeah. And, you know, we have Wi-Fi on the plane and stuff. So it's not like I get on a plane and I'm cut off. I'm Ooh. still doing shit. Yeah. And just some really gnarly shit went down over this plane. And so I get off and I... Wait, like what, turbulence? No, 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 no. Like, like, like work-wise. Like I was, oh, I was juggling shit. And... Oh. Look, uh, it sounds super privileged, and I get that. I travel a lot, and there's a few things that I that I care about. It's like uh, I want to. I'll travel well, but if I go to a city that I'm not familiar with, just let me. That's killer your ride boots, man. F one. Um, let me know how I'm getting out of there. Like I, I want, I want someone to 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 get me through that situation. Sure. Um, and there was nobody there to greet me or let me know where I'm going or anything. So I'm lost. I'm looking for somebody. And uh, when you go to a town that's having like a big convention, um, there are people there waiting at the airport for you to sign stuff. And sometimes that's cool. Other times it's like, hey, man, not now. And they just kind of keep coming after you. And the, these guys came up to me and I, I, I said, you know, hey, man, guys, not, not right now. I was like, come on, Troy, don't be a dick. And so Ooh. I grab stuff and I said, was like, fucking there you go. And I like yell. I was like, you have no idea what happens to somebody. Just fuck off. And I like, I lost my shit on it. Wow. And they like were taken back and I walked outside and I find out where the, the guy with the car was, whatever. And I, I walked back through the airport and I found him. I was like, Hey guys, I'm so sorry. Um, just understand that, you know, you have no idea what, what's happened from the time that we took off and time we land. Yeah. Um, you're doing your thing. I, I get that. And I'm really, really sorry. Uh, you caught me in a human moment. I hope you're going to forgive me. But just, just if somebody says no, take the no. You know, sure. So this is a really cool moment. They're like really sorry. Totally apologize, and they were cool. Um, but I wonder how many people. Like I mean, Russell Crowe is different. You don't beat somebody up with the phone. Um, <laughs> but there's those human moments that you catch people in that you don't. Like I, I had the the foresight i guess whatever to not look at alec baldwin because i had no idea and the guy's not necessarily the most even tempered dude he's yeah, not yeah. measured necessarily but I, I i've got a friend of mine who has had several opportunities to meet bob dylan and the the phrase never meet your heroes mm. really applies to him because he loves bob dylan so much that if he met him and bob dylan just if that meeting wasn't the thing that he wants it to be sure it would ruin all of it like nick and bruce willis 
What? Yeah. Nick's Nick. a huge Bruce Willis fan. And, he and then on a, on, a, on an on a, on, a, on one of the IGN lines, yeah. Yeah, it, it wasn't don't. even it wasn't even Nick's pro, Nick didn't even yeah, transgress. Don't, don't meet Bruce. But it was Willis. the guy Bruce Willis did the interview. <laughs> and it was fine and went next. And then somebody took a photo of Bruce Willis right while he's doing an interview. And Bruce Willis like stopped the interview. He's like, and moment, he's like, I'm sorry. What the fuck did you just do? Did you just take a photo of me? Like well, I'm in the middle of something. Blah blah. blah and, and the guy's like, I'm sorry. I didn't. You know, you know, like. It was that thing where it ruined it for Nick. Nick's on the show before a million times. Yeah. And that's, but that's my thing too, where it's like, I'm always so forthright with our viewers, our best friends, right? Of like, if you see me come up and say, hi, talk to me, give me a hug. Like I'm not that guy. But then like the other side of the coin is like, you know, uh, I was like, it was a weird thing of like it, when Silicon, uh, Silicon Valley Comic Con was happening. Uh, Jen and I went out to breakfast and I thought I saw Steve Wozniak on the street hmm. and I googled like the most recent photo I could find and it wasn't him I was like oh that's one of you and the next day I was in the airport after that con had ended and I literally passed Steve Wozniak and walked next to him for a second and I wanted to say thank you and this and that and it's just like I don't know his rules I don't know how right. he feels because I, I you know I have this old story of CM Punk where I saw CM Punk and I tapped him on the shoulder and I said excuse me sir and he blew the fuck up and now I still to this day think he overstepped it but those were the rules for him, and it's made me gun shy to a point of like, well, I'm not gonna fucking. He's always been super cool whenever I see him, but yeah. I, I understand like that. That's not the guy that you just like test those waters. Yeah, it's not gonna pot the, you know, poke this Rottweiler. Um, it's so weird because I mean, I've I've had I've had stories that go both ways. I've had stories where it's it's really really cool. I was walking through the grocery store that's right by our house, and. Malcolm X. Malcolm X. <laughs> you know the story. Very um, bond. I'm walking through and I look and I'm like, holy shit, that's Dave Grohl. Oh, wow. And so Dave Grohl's kind of looking and I walk past him and I go, hey, man, I think you're brilliant. Yeah. And I just kept walking. And he goes, <laughs> and to this day, I have a tendency to speak a little bit lower and a little bit fast. Yeah. So I don't know what he heard. Mm. He could have been like, Hey, I think you're an asshole. Yeah. yeah and he's yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> all I know is that I imagine this is Dave Grohl's perspective of that situation. Wife tells me to go to the grocery store. <laughs> and I think he's looking at like tampons. Like he was looking at it. He was clearly like trying to discern between brands or something. He's like, I, I don't know what, what she said. Heavy flow. I, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what this thing. Hey man, I think you're brilliant. This is my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, some guy happens to catch me in, in this human right. moment. Um, but I've had a couple of those where it's just, hey, I want to take a second to let you know that what you've done has meant something to me. Yeah. And I, there's sometimes when we don't need to have a, a 20 minute conversation or even yeah, a picture or a I'm not photo. asking for you a yeah, sign. Yeah, yeah. I just, I don't know what your day looks like, but I like what I love about what you guys have done is that you've created a community. Mm hmm. And it's something that I think at, at the beginning was about you and then it became about all of you. And now it's about so much more than just you guys. Sure. And when we're in Belfast, Ireland and people are walking up uh, that, with that shit gets me, man, when you go, when you, cause you get to go to so many more international cons than we do. Yeah, dude. And when they go to you and they wear a kind of funny shirt and they're like, Troy noticed the shirt and said that blah, blah, and best friends. And I'm like, that's how I mean. Like I've known for years that you're, you're the, the man, ink, yeah. Man. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude. It's Mario, like, man. Mario Shout out to Mario. Mario he not did it. He fucking yeah. did it. Yeah. That's that's impact. And again, that's not about you. That's not about even this. It's about that. It's about Absolutely. all of that. Yeah. To where there's a community, and I got a taste of it when we were doing the album, and we we did the the Twitch live streams and stuff, and the guy from Twitch was like. You guys have been off the air for an hour, and there's still people hanging out. Yeah. That shocking. is the magic. The chat yeah. It's yeah. the That's... people that are just there talking. They just want to be there. And I know this because I am a part of those communities. I talk about this so much. But the tone deaf stuff, like those communities I was a part of, I would be there. I would be in the communities. I still am in these communities. When things happen, I'm there. I'm talking. I am part of this conversation. And it's the off-air stuff that yeah. matters. Yeah. That means – that these people did something so important to someone's life that the chat is still going when they're off. And I love that. I love it so You're just willing much. to talk to like-minded people about it. And yeah. that's the beauty or of it. Or even not necessarily like-minded people, but people that the-, the Shows the opinion, interest. Yeah. You, we're here, we don't necessarily agree on Everything. this, 
but we agree on this. Yeah. 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 So yeah. it's not necessarily yeah. about being like-minded. It's you so could true. have Republicans and Democrats, you know, in the same room together. You could have people that are, are from all walks of life, but that's when, you know, like that time when I quit Twitter or whatever, and you look and you go, there is some magic. There is some beauty to be found in this. Sometimes you have to dig a little bit deeper, but God damn it, guys. There's, there's people like you that are the, the bastions of that, that are, to me, are holding the front line of being able to go, it's really ugly in here, but we'll at least be here mm-hmm. to give you shelter from that storm. Um, I, and and I, I really, I, I say this every time that I'm here, um, I really commend you guys because there were no heavier nor more brass balls that it took to walk away from the gig and to just literally do the Indiana Jones leap of faith from the lion's head <laughs> and, and to step out and to be in, in this and to see not only you guys surviving, but thriving is, is, is just amazing. And I, I call you friends and I call you family and I'm damn proud of you guys. Hell you know, that's, damn true. Proud you know, that's true. We you were the so first host of kind of funny live and you always will be. And it's so <laughs> yeah, funny. Dude. Cause like, We've now done three of them. Kind of Funny Live 1 was a moment in time, and it was more than we ever deserved. (laughs) But we had it, right? And you were there, and you fucking rocked it. Thank you, man. But, and you've seen from the internet, kind of funny live two and three, like stupid. It's what is stupid. It's stupid, right? Stupid is a great way to put like, it. But like, what you've <laughs> seen the jump, right? Yeah. You know exponential. How much bigger? Like at kind of funny live one, we had one projector showing videos, not even on the set. It was on the right. On the right, like it was just fucking. Me and Nick had a conversation about should we get two, and it was like, oh, it's not in the budget. Like, we just can't do that. And, and now, Nick's brother, man, just like yeah. stage man, that shit was just amazing. And to this we, day, he still does. I yeah? believe Good. we perfected it. Kind of Funny Live 2 was amazing. Kind of Funny Live 3, I didn't think it could be 2. And it did. It really fucking did. Now that it's out and everyone can see it, I'm so proud of it. And I just like, it makes me proud to think that you can see parts of it and be proud of where we're going. I think, honestly, that's what this community is based on is that people have agency in this. Yeah. And so it's just like me. I get to see you guys twice a year, maybe three times a year, if yeah. that, if, if I'm lucky. And, but I still feel like I have agency and I, I get to share in the pride and celebrate and like, fuck yeah, they hit that level or, you know, watching from afar and, and being able to really be upset that I wasn't able to just be in the crowd at Kind of Funny 3 and then going, what the fuck are they going to do for Kind of... By the way, if you don't even have a Rocky theme or a Superman theme for 4, you guys are wrong <laughs> because that's a poster. Like, kind of Funny Live 4, The Quest for Peace. The Quest for Peace. <laughs> it's just like, it's just the And worst. everybody's like, you know what? Yeah, this should end. This is probably the this best the point for an end. But no, I mean, that's, you know, every time you come on, I hope we tell you enough how much we love you, how much we love your support. I mean, you were my last up at noon guest for a reason, yeah. and you immediately came over to do kind of funny stuff the next day because you're family. Yeah, man. We love you. Thanks, dude. Love you, too. If you didn't know, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Game Over Greggy Show each and every week for sometimes five best friends gather on this table, each bringing a random topic discussion for your amusement. Sometimes. If you like that, head over to patreon.com slash kind of funny where you can get each and every episode early. How early, Troy Baker? How early? So early. You can watch it while we're doing it right now and nothing can get cut out. So whatever the fuck happens, happens. <laughs> you got no bucks to toss our way, no big deal. Head over to youtube.com slash kind of funny where we put it up topic by topic, day by day, until it goes up as one big video and MP3. Troy, thank you as always. My pleasure, dude. My pleasure. Thank you guys for having me. I was always... I'm so impressed that you could say all that right now. <laughs> I know, dude, that, that's... That's autopilot. Hey, Greg Miller is so good at this whole hosting <laughs> yeah. thing. No one gives him enough credit for yeah. it because it's like we have to do it on the morning show and I'm sure you guys have noticed but whenever it's me or Nick having to do it, we kind of half-ass it yeah, and totally. we're just like, hey, we're here, we're, we're doing this thing, it is yeah, what it yeah. is, whatever. Or no, Gamescast. There's a lot of that. But for me, it's just like I when I'm a Gamescast, I just kind of do the whole scene. Greg Miller's actually talented at what he does. Here's you what I'll say. This there, is the bourbon talking. There the used way. to be yeah. an old show called Tough Enough where there was. they would go and train people who the wanted WWE, to be WWE superstars. WWE uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. uh-huh. And Taz, God rest his soul, Taz isn't he dead. He died? Taz isn't dead. Holy shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but he did it. There was. They were talking about taking bumps. And these kids were complaining about how bumps hard take cocaine. A, no, no, taking bumps where you fall down and you hit the oh, mat. Okay. You spread your body weight out. You know what I mean? How you fall on the mat and not get hurt. And uh, something that always stuck with me is these kids were bitching about it. And Taz is like, you're all idiots. Like, I could slip on a block of ice tomorrow and I would take, the, I would take a bump. 
Like, because it's just second nature. And it's that I can be blackout fucking drunk. I can intro and outro this show. Nobody's business. <laughs> Don't worry about that. This you is can bring Portillo, stuff. shoot him right there, and I'd be like, well, this table. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I would roll on. This is all this stuff that normally the credits are rolling over, and <laughs> oh, the totally. audio's dead. That's, and then <laughs> you just described all of Kind of Funny's poor content. <laughs> Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, it's been our pleasure to serve you. Hey, party people, guess what? There is a sale over at kindoffunny.com slash store up to 40% off select items Monday through Sunday. Go check it out. Have a good time. And of course, click here to go check out our Patreon. Click here to subscribe to Kind of Funny. Click here to go to Kind of Funny Games. And click down here to go to the mystery spot. Guess what? It's just a playlist of fun videos we enjoy. That's what I like to put there. Ooh, I'm a smooth boy, Greggy M.